ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಝತ್ಕೆ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶ್ವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪುದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗವಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯನುಪೇನ ಸದ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಹಂ ಪಿತಾರ್ಥಕನಿಶಿನಿಶಯ ನಾನಾ ಮನೋರಥಧಿಯ ಕ್ಷಣಭಗ್ನು ನಿದ್ರ 
ದೈವ ಅಹತಾರ್ತರಚನ ರಿಸಯೋ ಯೋಪಿ ದೇವಾ ಜುಷ್ಮಾತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ವಿಮುಖ ಇಹ ಸಂಸರಂತಿ ಜುಷ್ಮಾತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ವಿಮುಖ ಇಹ ಸಂಸರಂತಿ ಅಹಂ ನಾತ್ಯಾತ್ಮಕರಣ ನಿಶಿನಿಶಯನ ನಾನಾ ಮನೋರಥ ಧಿಯಾ ಕ್ಷಣಭಗ್ನ ನಿದ್ರ ದೈವ ಅಹತಾರ್ತರಚನ ರಿಸಯೋ ಯೋಪಿ ದೇವಾ ಜುಷ್ಮಾತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ವಿಮುಖ ಇಹ ಸಂಸರಂತಿ ಜುಷ್ಮಾತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ವಿಮುಖ ಇಹ ಸಂಸರಂತಿ ಗೌಡಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಶೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕುರ ಪಾಪ ಪರಮಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ this kind of arrangement different kind of countless problems are there this kind of problems are there according to our own karma fall bhagwan is not responsible but still overall arrangement done by bhagwan ultimately we forgo so those problems are sent here different countless problem we can face different kind of heavy problems to make us realize to give us a feeling that life is most unstable the more we can feel different kind of problem we can think what is the reason for why i am feeling problem what are wrong i have done so i am feeling different kind of problem problem is good so i can realize due to problem different kind of problems i can realize that life is very unstable that is no hopeless but still there is hope because we can do hari bhajan that is the reason pope was speaking actually in the sarup of jiva there is no sansar in the sarup of jiva there is no sansar actually it is the arrangement of maya devi according to our karma fall we are coming here this is our foreign country the material world this is a foreign country we need not come here but we must come here we need not come here but we must come here without coming here how treatment can be done this is one kind of jail in which mahamaya durga going to give treatment to us different kind of treatment like father going away mother going to die children dying all somebody going to cheat me somebody going to to i can feel that my, my life is horrible this is good if you are not feeling that your life is horrible that you cannot look back you cannot look back towards bhagwan it is good so this is one kind of jail in which all different kind of you know people they are getting treatment mama is going to give them treatment punishment this kind of punishment is good for us the otherwise treatment cannot be done if you are doing all wrong wrong activities there is no punishment nothing then you can go on be you cannot check yourself so pope was speaking this is one kind of jail in which all bonded soul and they are in inside jail and mahama is going to keep the treatment if we can deliver if we can deliver if we can deliver one bonded soul if we can deliver one bonded soul from the from the jail of maya is very good one one jiva if we can because countless jiva they are not going to pay attention that to guru vishnu bhagwan some of them at all paying some attention so if we can deliver some those bonded soul from the jail of maya it is so important seva pope speaking it is such an important seva 
that it cannot be compared with it cannot be compared with making thousands of hospital thousands of school and colleges universities because they temporary you can say maharaj thousands of hospital is very okay is okay but is temporary and you are going to give education that education also going to put a uh, bonded soul into more tight position the time you took birth the time you took birth the kind of bonded condition you had with bonded condition you came but now after taking education playing politics doing different kind of activities wrong activities you are going to make your bondage more tight you are cannot free beta is the time of your birth that the bondage was not so heavy but after taking birth you are taking all rubbish activities everything you yourself going to make the bondage more and more tight what we can do same thing bhakti mun thakur told same thing bhakti mun thakur told in kirtan jara vidya joto mayar bhai bhav tomar bajone badha anitya sansare moh janmiya jibke karai gadha it is bengali kirtan bhakti mun was speaking jara vidya joto all efarsias london there there are so many it is the vaibhav of maya devi bhakti mun thakur speaking you are getting education okay this whole society going to honor you but be sure but be sure this kind of education going to put you in more and more trouble jarobidde jo maya it is the opulence of maya all your material education all your material education is one can kind of opulence of maya like no connection with hari bhajan na your education no connection with hari bhajan you are not doing hari bhajan so this kind of you know education is one kind of opulence of maya jara vidya ya to maya ar bhai bhav is a bhai bhav of maya it is one kind of impediment in the way of your hari bhajan it is one kind of impediments in the way of your yeah, hari bhajan because you cannot get any time to do hari bhajan you cannot find it you are busy with this is material things and you are going to take whole burden you know burden you are free unnecessarily you are going to marry and after five children is coming out you are going to take burden i am not saying don't marry you can marry but try to understand the tatva previously you took what they alone unnecessarily you are going to take all burden on your head like as you know as as always feeling comfortable if there is more and more burden really as one as can feel more and more you know comfortable if there is burden no burden as feel is not good bhakti mundra speaking jara vidya joto mayar bhai bhav tomar bhajane badha anitya sansare moh janmiya you can also grow some attraction unknown attraction you cannot avoid so this is one kind of more and more bondage for your life unnecessarily you are going to put it you could easily do hari bhajan you could do easily hari bhajan but you are not unnecessarily bhag so the shloka i started with is speaking that for jiva this is actually foreign place foreign place me jiva are going to material world jiva according to your karma phal going to enter into material world sangsri sangsri mane sri or gaman gaman mane going that's mean the shloka going to speak in sarup in sarup there is no sansar but you are purposely going to enter into sang this is foreign country for all jivas 
all jiva, for all jiva, this foreign country, actual foreign country. Night time, they are doing so many business, service, so many things, they are earning money, so many things. And different kind of tension going to chase them, chase, you know, chase. Different kind of problem going to chase, chase them. Suppose your financial condition is bad, you took loan from some bank or somebody, maybe uh, 20 lakhs, and now your position became more and more dangerous. You cannot pay. Night time you cannot sleep. Night time you are sleeping. Suddenly you break uh, your heart, tip, 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 tip. So many. May our, some Maharaj also. They also took from bank land to open medicine company after that bankrupt. After that, he couldn't pay. So many things can happen. So, night time, even, even at the night time, get, they cannot take rest properly. Because in between, they break. They think, how I can pay the amount? This way. Or somebody going to threat you, I can kill you. So, you are afraid, any time can. He can shoot me and you are in tension, night time, due to tension you cannot sleep. So this way, the slok seeking. Because bonded soul, they are riding the chariot of mind. Mind can be compared with one chariot. Just now you can reach Austria within fraction of a second. Without visa, passport, immigration, mind can go to Austria. No visa. So mind can mind can be compared with one chariot. You can sit on the chariot within fraction of a second. You can go anywhere you like. Anywhere you can ride. It's called manorathena. Manorathena, mental chariot. You can go anywhere. This way, people day by day going to invite more and more problem in their life. Somebody is speaking, if we are in bonded condition, then Guru Vaishnava also in bonded condition. They are also there in material world. They are eating, sleeping, same like us. So what wrong? What is the difference? Somebody can speak. Somebody, many people can speak. What is the difference? They are also eating, we are also eating, we are sleeping, they are sleeping. So, what is the difference? Why you say they are excellent, they are transcendental? Why? Why you can agree this point? For them, one example I can give you. For this reason, I can give you one example. What is that? If you think Guru Vaishnava and on common people, all the same. But our Sunatun Goswami, all other Shastra, all Shastra, authentic Shastra, they are speaking, those who are Sadhu, pure Sadhu, they are free from this material world. Though externally, though externally you can discover, they are in this material world. Externally. But still they are free from this material, they are beyond this material world. How and why? That is the question. One example I can give you. One big officer, one big officer, he, in the leisure time, in the noon, noon time, tiffin time, he is writing one letter. He is writing one letter and finally going to put address in the letter. In the meantime, some of his colleague, colleague you know, some of his colleagues enter the room. What you are doing? I am writing one letter. To whom? To my brother. Your father? Ah. Okay. After putting address, everything, he is going to hand over the letter to the man. I mean, friend. Because he is anyway going outside. He can drop the letter. Because that time there was no phone, nothing. Then the man asking, by watching the address, by watching the address of the letter, he is very strong. He say, why? 
your brother staying in jail? Your brother is in jail? Because it is written to Pradeep Chakravarti, you know, Alipur Central Jail, Alipur Central Jail, and Alipur, Calcutta 27. But he, you say you are writing letter to your brother? Well, yes, he is in jail. What, what he has done? He is a prisoner? But the officer laughing. He is staying in Alipur Central Jail. But he is not prisoner. He is the superintendent of the jail. He is staying in a jail. He is in charge of the jail. He is superintendent of the jail. So he is not the same like the prisoner and the man. He is staying in the same place. There in the covering, he is in free. So all people, foolish people, they are going to strike on this matter. Why we can obey that pure Guru Vishnu, they are free, they are like us. But you can test them, you can test them, how they are free or not, bondage, you can see their character, behavior, all you can understand. If you have your little you know, intuition, you can understand. So, pure Guru Vishnu and bonded souls surely not the same, because they are free, they are always trying their best, they are always trying their best to make us free. They are always trying their best because they feel pain. Why those bonded souls forever can stay in bonded condition? Why not they can go out of Maya? Why? Why they cannot go out of Maya? That's why they are speaking Harikatha, Kirtan, helping Dham Parikram. Why? All our Guru Bhargava, say all. Kesav Maharaj, you know, Prabhupada, all there, Madhu Goswami, all arranged. Ban Goswami, they are traveling, different kind of. So, Dham Parikram, I can come to this point, Dham Parikram is most special. Because by the help of Dham Parikram, we can use almost all of our sense organs. Suppose you are in one place, you are doing one seva. But when you are going to Dhamma, Parikram, then you will have to apply most of your sense organs. Like you will have to apply your eyes, you will have to apply your ear to hear Harikatha from Guru Vishnu, you will have to apply your mind and intellect all to understand everything. I know it is matter, but still, you are trying to practice this way, your leg watching, your leg, you are doing something with your hand, taking dust particle from the ground, put there, you are doing so many things. You are walking, you are doing all, almost all of your sense organ, you can engage during Dhamparikram. So Dhamparikram is very effective. If I told you, even if, even if Bhagavan is not at all ready to excuse you because of some your previous aparad, because of your previous aparad, maybe Bhagavan less interested to keep do kipa. In that case, what to do? Then you will have to take advantage of this dhamma because dhamma is Baladev tatra. If Baladev going to say, you know. Dukkipa, Krishna is bound to do kipa. Krishna is bound to do kipa. Follow what he said. This way, all the time, our Guru Bhargava, they wanted to arrange different kind of exhibition, different kind of symposium, symposium for Harikatha, different kind of Dham Parikram, or South India also. I, I never go. Keshav Goswami arranged South India, Parikram, everything they do. North Bengal, North India, Badarnath, Kedarnath, all. Because so that bonded soul can grow, the, grow their consciousness. That is why. Because there is no other way. They can sit doing next to nothing and take prasadam and sleep. Better you can engage them. That's why Guru Vaishnava engage them. Now one point we have, uh, one point is very vital. We know 
Bhakti is the Sarup Shakti of Bhagavan, transcendental. So how it is possible for bonded soul to get bhakti and how it is possible that by the help of all material sense organ we can practice? Sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti, prem bhakti. Sadhan bhakti preliminary we must try under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava. Sadhan bhakti we can practice. Under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, we have submission, we are trying. But for bonded soul, it is quite impossible. Because Sarup Shakti is the internal potency of Bhagavan. How it is possible that Sarup Shakti can come and uh, help you? How possible Sarup Shakti can come? That is the main question. Kriti Shaddo. Bhava asa sadhana vidha. Kriti sadhya, it is written, Kriti sadhya je bhava asa sadhana vidha. Nitya siddhyasya bhavasya prakacham hidhi sadhya tha. Kriti sadhya je bhava asa sadhana vidha. Kriti sadhya je bhava asa sadhana vidha. Nitya siddhya, for try to hear. Kriti sadhya je bhava asa sadhana vidha. Sadhana Vidha, Nitya Siddha Svabhavasya Prakatyam Hidhi Sadhata. I mean, when you are doing practice to go up, under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, surely, under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava we are trying, to Kiti Sadhya Je Bhava. Sadhya Bhava, you are trying to get it. You are practicing. When you are practicing, it is it is and it is sadhana vidha. Kiti sadhana bhava, kiti sadhana je bhava sa sadhana vidha. When you are practicing, it is called sadhana. But by sadhana, but by sadhana, anyway, you are not going to get bhakti. Sadhana only by sadhana, you cannot. But the mystery is there. That Krishna took birth, Krishna took birth in the jail of Kamsa. Krishna took birth, I mean Krishna appeared in the jail of Kamsa. That doesn't mean Vasudevji and Daivagi give birth to Krishna. It's not that. But Krishna appeared himself. Sun, sun rises in the east. Everybody knows sun rises in the east, but doesn't, that doesn't mean that eastern direction going to give birth to sun. Eastern direction not going to give birth to sun. Sun is appeared. This way, sa sadhana vidha, kiti sadhya je bhava, sa sadhana vidha, nitya siddhasya bhavasya prakatyam hidi sadhya. Try to realize, otherwise you can misunderstand me. Baba, it is written that for jiva, each and every jiva, each and every jiva in their, each and every jiva, each and every jiva in their sarup, there is bhakti. Each and every jiva. They have their natural bhakti, because bhakti is the natural function of your soul. But now it is in dormant state. The only the thing you will have to do, you will have to discover that thing, not innovation. This is already there. I am searching and searching and searching, ultimately I got to discover. It is already there. So bhakti, bhabhak already there. Only you will have to discover how to discover. That is the point. So anyway, sadhan you will have to do. You will have to anyway do sadhan you will have to do. But that doesn't mean you can produce, you can manufacture Baba Bhakti. Anyway, you have to practice. Without practice, there is no way. But in course of your practice and uh, anugatha, under the guidance of 
Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava. You are practicing. You are not getting taste. But still, it is the order of Guru Vaishnava. You are hearing Harikatha. You are singing Kirtan, everything. But your, but your hearing Kirtan is not same with one elevated sadhu. Your hearing Kirtan or Harikatha is not same with Parambhaya Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Because for you, hearing Harikatha, one kaisam, sadhan bhakti. For you, you are hearing Harikatha, it is one kind of sadhu you are practicing. But one pure sadhu is present here, his hearing a Harikatha is sadha. Sadha means Harikatha itself going to unveil the mystery of Bhagavan, Prema, Sharub, everything. So, what is sadhan bhakti for you hearing Harikatha? Uh, that is same Harikatha, sadha for pure devotees. Because by hearing Harikatha, they can see all the Leela of Bhagavan, can remember how Tattva Bhagavan, can, they can see inside Bhagavan, inside heart, they can see Bhagavan. So, sadha means the ultimate target. So, their Harikatha is going to give them prema, lava, a, you know, some ecstatic feeling. They can see Bhagavan. So, their Harikatha, hearing of the. So, your, your hearing Harikatha is not same like their hearing, hearing Harikatha. Now, point is that in the beginning, you can go on practicing. You are not getting any trust. By the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, you are. They give order. You have to do. But you are not getting test. Someday, if Guru Vaishnava become very satisfied with you by your practice, somehow if they bless you, if they bless you, or at all somehow for some unknown reason, Bhagavan becomes satisfied with you, then Sarupshati can appear inside your heart. Jiva Goswami was speaking, then Sarupshati can appear. Because to invite Saraswati, to catch Saraswati is not the power of bondage soul. Bondage soul, how can do? Saraswati means Sheva Vritti. So, by the mercy of pure Guru Vishnu, Saraswati can appear inside your heart. And like I told one day before, that those, mat those matters, those matters have no connection with your Atma. Those matters all around you, you are feeling attraction or repulsion, no connection with your Atma. But you are feeling attraction. Not only that, but also without matter, you cannot live. You, you are speaking, without this I cannot live. How I can live? I mean, too much oneness you are feeling with matter. You are feeling too much oneness with the matter. But matter has nothing to do with Atma. Atma, Atma has no connection with all matters, all around, infinity world, no matter. Atma has no connection. But due to, due to this bonded condition, you are going to you know, feel too much oneness with the matter. They cannot live with, without wife, without... I know personally, long ago, maybe 40 years back or 35 years back, I was walking down one Calcutta street, I mean Dalhousie Square. You heard? Dalhousie Square? <coughs> Dalhousie Square, main place. I was making a shortcut to reach one place. That was share market. I have no idea about share market. I am going just. Then I find there is shouting, people shouting. Finally, I see one old, old, one old man with the phone. With the phone, he fell down. Heart attack. I was searching, why? What happened? That, that old man, heart attack. And why? He just here, five minutes before, he was alive. Just five minutes before, he heard that he is going to lose 60 lakhs rupees because of his share. Over telephone here, he lose 60 lakhs rupees at a time immediately because the company fell. Immediately he catches the phone and fall down. Heart fell. 60, la 60 lakhs gone. 60 lakhs gone. 
Whenever he is going to think, my sixty lakhs gone. That means I already gone. That's, I mean too much oneness with money. He is thinking, sixty lakhs money and I myself non-different. Sixty lakhs gone mean I also gone. He is feeling heart, heart attack fall down. So try to understand this point. This way, more or less, this way, more or less, all bondage so. Maybe 90% bondage, 80% bondage, or maybe 10% bondage is still there. They are almost free, but still, some material connection there. Those are totally free from matter, okay, they are mukta, free. But otherwise, everybody going to feel some oneness with matter. That's why matter and mind and heart feeling oneness and going to put some impression of you in, inside your heart without matter, where you can go? No way out. Similarly, if with matter, if with matter all around your matter, if your heart and mind going to feel oneness, why not you can feel oneness with Bhakti Devi? I mean Sarup Shakti. Sarup Shakti can appear by the mercy of Bhagavan or Guru Vaishnava and Sarup Shakti can Sarup Shakti can you know, enter in my, into myself and going to put some influence. Influence of all sense organs. All sense organ like my mind now like to go for parikram now my eyes like to see yogopitsa mandir my ear like to hear harikatha automatically it's an automatic factor i mean those sense organ it is the mercy of you know guru vaishna guru vaishna sarvasati appear and sarvasati going and to help you influence by the help by the influence of sarvasati Automatically, you are feeling some oneness with Sarup Shakti. Like your sense organ, hand like to do some writing or seva or Bhagavan, your ear like to hear something, special kirtan, automatically. It's one kind of induction, you know, induction. One kind of induction. That's why, though we are, that's why, though we are bonded soul, we have bonded, sense organ, everything. We know. But still, Jiva Goswami is speaking, it is possible, 100%. Otherwise, we can become hopeless. So, Saraswati Kipa coming to, Saraswati Kipa means Bhakti. Bhakti means Seva, motive, motive to do Seva. Motive to do Seva. This way, all the problem is solved. That means, now you are practicing, if you are going to grow your you know, mind, you know, you are trying your best sincerity, with full sincerity, then someday, today or tomorrow, you can enjoy the, enjoy the kripa of you know, Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava, then Sarva Shakti can, Sarva Shakti can enter into you and you can feel inspiration to do more and more seva. It's one kind of induction, influence. Sarva Shakti enter and influence your hand to do some seva, influence your ear to hear harikatha. You can feel, day by day you can feel more and more interest. Why? You cannot understand why. There one year before I was no so much interested. Now why I am feeling so much interested? Because you are going advanced. Same thing, our Sonatan Goswami path told, same thing, our Sonatan Goswami path told in Briyad Bhagavatam Rito. Same thing Sonatan Goswami but told in Briyad Bhagavatam Rito. There Briyad Bhagavatam Rito, Sonatan Goswami is speaking, Krishna Bhakti Sudha Panat, Krishna Bhakti Sudha Panat, Deho Doihi Ko Vishrite, Krishna Bhakti Sudha Panat, Deho Doihi Ko Vishrite, Tesam Panchobhotik Deho Pi Satchidana Nirupata. Sonatan Goswami but confirmed, in Vriyat Bhagavad When you are Krishna Bhakti Shmada Panath, all the devotional Harikatha, I mean Harikatha you are hearing, Shudha, I mean Amrita, Harikatha you are hearing. 
in course of hearing all nectarian harikatha, Krishna Bhakti Shudha Pana, you are hearing, hearing about the topics of Krishna Bhakti. Surely. Repeatedly you go on hearing, then what happened? Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti Sudha Panat, you forget all your body and body related things. It's an automatic factor. Bhakti Minut Thakur surely cannot think about the land and property there in Calcutta, in India. How can he think? He's missing. His mind is missing, everything missing. So, this is uh, a spontaneous thing, automatically. Krishna Bhakti Sudha, you can forget about your body and body related thing, automatically. You can forget. Deho dohiko visute te sham. For them, their body, you can say, Satchidananda. I mean, my Gurudev is a material man made up of blood and flesh, you cannot think. Guru Popa speaking, Gurudev is Satchidananda, Bhagavan is Satchidananda Vigraha, Bhagavan is Satchidananda Vigraha, Gurudev is also Satchidananda. You cannot realize that is your fault. So, Krishna Bhakti Sudha Panath, Deho Doihi Kavishite, Tesham Panchabhuti Deho Pi Satchidananda Rupata. Now, Dhamparikam is so important that it can give us. Extra facility. We can run, scorchy sunlight, sweat can come. We can grow habit to uh, of tolerance, habit of tolerance. Because usually you are not running uh, even one kilometer, two kilometers. Eh? Even I can run now 40 kilometers, just now. I can stop Harikata and go. 40 kilometers easily. Just now I can finish Harikata and travel. I am habituated, no? I am habituated. It's a question of practice. It's a question, that's why I never invite any enjoyment. I don't like to inv enjo and invite any, because it can you know, put me in trouble. I am very good. I am habituated. Hot, cold, everything, I am habituated. Automatic AC there inside my body. AC, DC, everything there. <laughs> you need separately AC. <laughs> AC there. Because those who are following Brahmacharya, Brahmacharya, their AC there. You are laughing, I am not joking. Those who are following Brahmacharya, their body is so adapted that in a hot situation, cold, then feeling disturbing. Body adapted already. So power growing. So this way, now we are going to discuss all this basic point. So that now you realize what is bhakti, how we can practice. Otherwise, question can come. How we can practice is possible, you say, Saraswati. So, kiti saddo je bhavaha, so sadhana vidha, I already explained, nitya siddha so bhavasya prakatyam hidi saddhata. It is called sadhana that it appears. It is called sadhana, really sadhana you are doing. But it's called appearing of bhakti. Not that you are going to produce in machine, manufacturing. It produces, not produce, it appears. Out of, out of uh, you know, mercy, causeless mercy, Bhakti Devi can appear by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. This way you can get. Now, point is that in Bindavan Dham, I was discussing about the parikram of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mapu, how feeling about Giriraj Maharaj, Radha Kund, Sam Kund, whole Rajra. Gauranga Mapu feeling oneness. It's quite natural. Because Bindavan, <laughs> Bindavan and Mahaprabhu not different. He's Krishna. So too much oneness. If you go for Parikram, you are playing your head over some you know, problem. I'm feeling too much hot, too much moisture. This, that, no prasadam, proper time, no water, then this parikrama is not perfect. You have to go your, you will have to grow your tolerance power. Each and every time you can feel some stone chip going on your leg, some throne going to penetrate, but if you say useless, ah, I am feeling problem, I cannot do parikrama, then your parikrama is over, you cannot do. 
So at the same time you are going to uh, grow your tolerance, you are doing bhakti, everything. So during Parikrama you have the scope to pay Dandavat Pranam. Anyway, any place you are going paying Dandavat Pranam, Panchanga, five, your five limbs you are using, you are hearing, you are Harikatha, you are walking, you are taking dust particle, chandamita, all you are going to use all your hand, leg, eyes, ear, intellect, mind, everything you are using. You are using, no? That's why it is a very good, it is very, you are going to get extra facility. So, Dhamparikama is useful for bonded soul, special. Dhamparikama, those who are Sanatana Gosai doing Rupa Goswami, if you say Sanatana Gosai, Rupa Goswami, they are also doing Parikram. But I already told, their Parikram is Shadda, not Sadhana. Your Parikrama is Sadhana. But when Sanatana Goswami is doing Parikrama, he can clearly see Sinaji, Maharaj, Giriraj, Maharaprakita. So their Parikram is Shadda. I mean, through Sadhana, what, what you are supposed to get, they are already getting. They are parikram, they are singing, they are chanting, everything. So, we cannot come here. So, anyway, Mahaprabhu traveling, I know, different places, Kamban, Bahulam, all different places. And after that, what I mean to say, I can come to the original point, how to do parikram or this, but today I will have to give time for that. Because, even when Parikrama is over, even when Mahaprabhu's Parikrama is over, all different forests, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu don't like to go outside. He likes to stay in Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu likes to stay in Vrindavan. Follow. One day, Mahaprabhu jump into Jamuna, jump into deep water, jump into Jamuna and stay without consciousness. All Kishnadas and all devotees, Brajavasis, they also jump into water, catch Mahaprabhu and talk. Then Balabhadra thinking, very tension. Mahaprabhu feeling so much deep feeling that any time Mahaprabhu can jump into Jamuna, can run here and there, who can control? I have no power to control, I am an old man. Balabhadra ji making one meeting, held one meeting separately without Mahaprabhu. With Kalak Krishna, with Krishna Das, with Krishna Das, with Krishna Das and that uh, Sonodiya Brahman, oh, they took decision what to do. Then Balabhadu speaking, I think it is very good. I think it is very good if we can take Mahaprabhu out of this Vrindavan now. Because Vrindavan always Prabhu feeling so deep feeling, we cannot even talk with Mahaprabhu. Always deep feeling. Feeling about Krishna, Lila, this, that, who can control? Sometimes can, can see Krishna in the Jamuna, I can jump into. So now, it is the right decision. So Parikrama is over, now we can take Mahaprabhu out of this Vrindavan. But Prabhu, Prabhu, Mahaprabhu anyway not ready to go out. Is eternal level? No. Mahaprabhu don't like to, Mahaprabhu become very harsh. When devotees discuss and Prabhu, we will have to go out. Mahaprabhu not talking. Very heavy heart. Because I don't like to go out of Vrindavan. Anyway, devotees are requesting, Prabhu, uh, if we can start now, we can go to Elahabad and we can take bath in the confluence of Gang Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati. Because the Magi, one special tithi coming. Makar Shankanti. It is called Makar Shankanti. Prabhu, if we can now start, we can uh, reach Allahabad and Makar Shankar, we can take birth in as you like. Mahaprabhu, not ready. As you like. Then Krishna Das and all other Brajavasi, they say, we can go with you. How we can go? Long distance. No, I can, we can go with you. Pap, Mahaprabhu walking. Mahaprabhu walking, all devotees there, because Mahaprabhu running fast. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Then Mahaprabhu going to reach Gokul Mahavan. From there we will have to get out, because there is one way. From there we will have to go outside of Vrindavan. 
there Mahaprabhu here, some peacock and some dancing, this, that, and some, and some coward boy suddenly play on one fluid. Suddenly, because those were coward boys. Most of the, at present, I don't know, at present, what, because I was there, that time I seen. They are usually taking, always taking one fluid, fluids with him. When one coward boy is going to play on the fluids, then Bhagavan, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fall down on the ground, feeling unconscious. He is thinking, Krishna calling me, totally unconscious and a foam, foam coming, foam you know, foam, foam coming, coming out. It seems he is very sick, but not sick. It is called it is called ecstatic feeling. In the meantime, some Muslim people on horse, tuck, tuck. They are going to see one golden complexion, one big, tall man, and some uh, Gaudiya, I mean Bengali devotees, and some uh, you know they are Brajavasis. They are they are standing. Then they come out of this, you know, horse, they come down. They say, we can catch you because you are going to snatch, surely you are going to snatch all the properties with these sannyasis. So I now wanted to kill him. So I can kill you now. Unnecessarily, those who are Gaudiya devotees, they are seeking, they are opening, you know, sword. But Krishnadas was Bhujavasi. Krishna is very clever. Krishna is shouting, You know my identity, who am I? Eh? If I call, if I shout, if I shout, one hundred horse, man, my fighter can come and kill you. You know? My, my village is just now here. He's shouting because he's very clever and smart. And see, then the man, they, they become. So you kill. You touch, you touch your sword, now you see the situation. This way conversation going on, this way conversation going on. In the meantime, Mahaprabhu going to show his consciousness. Consciousness come back, then Mahaprabhu get up and sit. Then those Muslim people saying, you are nice sannyasi, they wanted to kill you. And take all your property, you check up your property is there. Prabhu say, I have no penny, I am penniless. I have no property, they are my friend. They are taking care of me. No, 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 no. So they wanted to bind. They wanted to catch them and bind. But Mahaprabhu, when get back consciousness, anyway Mahaprabhu not going to see their bonded condition. By that time, by the power of Krishnadas when shouting, they make them free. After that, Krishna Das and uh, that Sonodiya, they are all running with Mahaprabhu up to <coughs> Elahabad. Up to Elahabad they are running, they don't like to go back. But in Elahabad, after taking birth, Mahaprabhu is bound to come back. They are crying and Mahaprabhu come back here. Anyway, this is one point. I speak about Mahaprabhu, he don't like to come back from Brajodham. So much attachment. Now, yesterday I told, I forget the name of that you know, Rishi. It is called Sandhya Rishi. I forget. And Bajaranabha, I told you, but uh, not in clearly, uh, when Yudhishthira Maharaj gone, Yudhishthira Maharaj Panchavarna all gone, in that case, they make Parikhit Maharaj in charge. They do Abhishek. So Parikhit Maharaj is the overall in charge of whole I MN mean, king. Now Yudhishthira Maharaj wanted to appoint. So Yudhishthira Maharaj wanted to appoint this Bajranaba, who is the grand grandson, not grandson, grand grandson, Prapotru. Is a grand grandson. So they took decision to appoint him as the king of Brajodham. Brajodham. And 
Parikhid Maharaj was there. But he is feeling bad because uh, no population there, I already told. Finally, Bajranabha is going to express some you know, deep feeling. It is the place of Krishna, I know. It is the place of Krishna, I know. Very important place. But there is no population, nothing. And the Leelas, all Leela places are, you know, like we don't know what to do. Then Parikhit Maharaj, by the invitation of Parikhit Maharaj, Sandilamuni appeared. By chance, Sandilamuni was there. Sandilamuni appeared and going to solve the problem. What problem? Well, I am in forest, like, like, just like forest. Nobody there, what I can, how I can lead my life. Then he suggests, then he is going to suggest Sandilya Muni that if you can consult Shastra, Puran, everything, and if you search by the mercy of Krishna, you can discover almost all Leela places. If you search, take tower. So you will have to go. Then Vajranabha, with, with the help of Sandilya Muni, and they are going to search all Leela place, they are consulting Shastra, all different, all different places. Because I told you, Radha Kund, Sam Kund was again discovered by Mahaprabhu. But it was 5000 years, 500 years back. That time, Radha Kund, Sam Kund was there. It was not too long. Because Krishna gone. After that, uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj appointed Parikhid Maharaj, Parikhid Maharaj this one. So, by that time, Radha Kund, Sam Kund was, we can think it was there. But still, different Kundwa, what is the name, what Leela was there, it should be detected. All this should be detected. This way, by the advice of Sandilya Muni, Sandilya Rishi, by the advice of Sandilya Rishi, Bajranava took travel. It was very enthusiastic mood. Bajranava going there, a different places and consulting Shastra, they can do, you know, consulting Brajavasis, remote there. Number of Brajavasis very. And he discovered everything. And this, you know, now at present we are watching Govinda Dev, you know, Govinda Dev. At present we are watching Govinda Dev, na, in Jaipur. Govinda Dev, you don't know, Govinda, Radha Govinda Ji is there. Radha Govinda Ji. So Radha Govindu Jiu, uh, Baldev Jiu, uh, or Sinat Jiu, Sinat Jiu, or Haridev Jiu, all directly done by Bajrana, all installed. He wanted to install different you know, deities in different places according, but due to, due to, due to, natural calamity or whatever you can say. Some temple he made, all important, but all gone under mud. In course of time, due to natural calamity, maybe earthquake, who, who knows? So all Govinda Dev gone, all deities gone under mud. I already told, how Madhavandha Puripat discovered this Sinaji, he also made, uh, installed by Bajranava. This way all missing. That is why in Kirtan, we know that by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Brajadham, Brajabhumi, going to manifest again. In Kirtan we know, Echai Gosai Jave Brajakoi Lava, Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori Lapaka, Monera Anande Valahari, Bhajavinda Bhavan, Siguru Vaishnava Padema Jaya Man. It's the Kitan, you know. You are not doing Kitan. This Kitan you are doing. So it is written, when by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, six Goswami is going to take charge of this, you know, discover all different places, Sonatan Goswami took trouble so much. Sonatan Rup, whole day and night, to carry out the order of Gauranga Traveling, all around, so much trouble. Consulting Shastra, location, everything, they are going to calculate by the 
they discover. So, Vrindavan is eternally present, anyway. But Vrindavan was just like a missing place. Vrindavan was just like a missing place. Nobody could. If Saragoswami, if Saragoswami was not going to discover, then who we are? We couldn't realize. By the, by the help of Saragoswami, by the uh, Kripa of Saragoswami, we can now discover this is uh, Giriraj, this is Radha Kund, Sam Kund, all we can discover. Saragoswami. So, by the desire, by the because it was the instruction of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu told Sanatana. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. To discover all, to discover all different Leela places, Leela Sali, it is called Bengali, Lupto Tirtho Uddhar. In Bengali it is written, Lupto Tirtho Uddhar. I mean those who are, you know, going to hide, they have to discover. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. So, Mahaprabhu giving order to Sanatana Gosai to compile Sriti Shastra or rules and regulations, everything, and giving the responsibility to di discover all Leela places, all around the Vrajadam. So, it is what it is. Rupa Sanatana, all. This way. Rupa Goswami Pad was given special order to discover Rasa Tattva. Discover me? Rasodhattva was eternally present, only discovered. Rupa Goswami Pad. Jiva Goswami Pad discovering all secret Siddhanta Bisha. Because there can be so much fighting regarding these Bhagavad topics, these, that, wow, how possible? Then Jiva Goswami Pad can understand when and how, when and how bonded soul can put some question, they can have some doubt. So accordingly, he wanted to solve all problems. One or two I can speak, not, not today, time is over. I can speak one or two, how Jiva Goswami wanted to solve all problem. All problem, how? Like, like you know, Jai Vijay, how possible? Jai Vijay already having Vaikuntha body, Vaikuntha parshat, how they fall down? All solution done by Jiva Goswami Path or Goswami Path, all I can uh, talk. And from tomorrow onward, first of all, I can try to d discover Govinda Dev, Madan Mohan, Gopinath, Radharaman, Gokulananda, all different deities and special deities. In Vrindavan, I can speak the topics. After that, we can go to Bhuteshwar Mahadev to take permission to do round the clock parikram. And one thing very important I can speak. Somebody think uh, that going to Lilapes and come back. But going to Lilapes and come back is not parikram. I can stop these topics tomorrow. Anyway, Om Apti Tardha Karana Nishini Shayana Nana Manoratha Dhyaya Chana Bhagana Nidra Daiva Ahatartha Rachana Risa Yopi Deva Jishmat Prasanga Vimukha Yuha Sangsaranti Jishmat Prasanga Vimukha Yuha Sangsaranti Vanchakalpatur Vasakya Pasindhavash Patitanang Pavana Govishnath Yuna